Hello and welcome to a new video. Welcome back to Art and Storytelling. Uh, today, um, I was thinking we're going to redo the Pug Davros one like we did last time, or the one we did on my computer. But this time we're doing it via tablet. So it should be much more free flowing, much easier, you know. That's so right, let's get to it. Alright, I got the image up on my screen, the one that we did yesterday. Let's get it up again. Cool. And we're going to take inspiration from, shall we say. So, what we'll start off with is the nose. And it's a big, bulky black nose. Okay, one nose. Check. Down. Lower the size of our brush. I'm using Procreate, by the way. It's my favourite app when it comes to art. So then curve that up like that. Nope, that's too big. Way too big. Just curve them up. Come back down. Go down here with a little brush and fill in the areas where it look weird otherwise. See? See, look right there. Looks odd, doesn't it? Because it's got bulk in there. So we got our brush. And just trim it down a bit. Remember, it's up to you what you make. This is just how I do it. Feel free to comment in the description and tell me how do you make pugs or how do you draw your dogs? Right there. I'm going to lower that slightly, it's a bit high. Right, next is the eyes, oh, three eyes. We have, let's make it the eyebrows, to make it look like he's insane. So we want to go up to the little nourish. And do another one, to the drag it, just like that. No, a bit thicker, I think. Let's make a dot for that. So I know then where the middle eye goes. So we want the brow to be by there. Like, um, no, not quite like that. Bit thicker, say, no, bit thinner. Um, that's alright. Let's go to that little dot with that. Um, next, we will get curved like that. And we're going to have his googly eyes, well, his closed eyes, shall we say. I'm thinking for the closed eye. Same we did last time, you know, these three lines to indicate it's closed. Go. Um, another bit for. Um, we do we've got some lines in to fill in that blank area in the middle. It'll really look weird otherwise at the end. Yes, make some curves. Already, that to me looks better. I know it's random lines, but the lines make it look like he's got wrinkles, etc., all over his face. And that's the look we're going for. Because Davros is a wrinkly old man. Now, on the top, we just do a thin curve. Down. Curve. Up. And get out the brush. Like that. Drag it down. There we go. And there's... Not, over here, we could edit that slightly. Just make it less curved and more precise, shall we say. There we go. Next. Sorry, let's check if this is also going. Sorry about that. I had to check. <laughs> Cut that bit. Um, next, we go for here. We go curve. Like that, down, curve, up, over. Down, curve, up. Nope, so if you hold down a line, say like that, then Procreate will automatically assume you want a straight line. It's quite a handy little feature. There's his teeth. Show a menacing grin on his face. There we go. A bit of black with that to show the back of his mouth. Like that. A bit far. There you go. Now, that's the basic shape of the face. Let's go on to the head. Tell you what, what I'm going to do is get the select tool, the marching ants as I'm told it's called. 
put it on the circle when we want the free hand go around like that so move it slightly over um smaller free hand um but there so I can get room to do the side of the head. Up. Drop the year down. Up. Curve. Up. Curve. Drop the year down. Curve a line like that. Like that. Line going across like that. There you go. Now, on the forehead, do we say when I've like the that's all line? Just flicker and like that's that, 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 two lines. I think just a bit more wrinkles to make them look older. Next, let's have a look at the eye. A dot look like in there. No, that'll be too weird. We'll do it in a dark blue, maybe because his eyes meant to be blue, obviously. Now, next is the body. Curve that down. So that's his shoulder. Next, drag that down. But you want to come it out slightly into this direction because if we get show like that, try it out like that. Up like that. Looks like his arm is knee. Oh god, I have not. <laughs> it looks like his arm is curving in. So let's read that. You know, you see what I'm trying to say. Let us line like that. Up, curved up. Um. Go. Uh, let's see, but here, if we can zoom in, just make curve, fill in the blanks, just fill in the blanks, there we go. Okay, fill in all the blanks. I was a bit thick for that, doesn't matter, because you are painting or drawing, whatever. So, curve that up, curve that up there. Go. Now by here, I'm thinking, if the hand's going to come out like that, what we need to do, and like I said in the last video, not the best at hand, so don't judge me, <laughs> is that like that? Um, so let's see, if I have my hand like that, what does it look like? Um, thumb would be like that, and this curved nail. See what I look like. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> right, let's just have the standard type hand. Let's do a curve. Curve. Curve like that. I can't do hands. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I just can't do them. I just, you know, I've tried doing hands in the past and it just it just never works. I don't know why. I don't know. It just does not like me. <laughs> now, obviously, this is our version of Davros. So, we're going to have actually like a elbow... Bit, you know, like not, not a pad, but more of a patch, shall we say? Drawing that down. Now, as for the other side, we want to try and make that even. So let's make a little line like that, so we know how far to go out. Down like that. Do what? What we're gonna do? We're gonna make a different layer. So we're gonna raise it easier. What happened here? Oh, I see. Curve that there. So not too far with the arm coming out. Don't like that. There we go, that's perfect. You know what we do now? We got a brush, our razor, go over to max. Okay, build and raise the other lines because layers are so handy. Right, uh, there'd be the cutoff point say there. We don't want it going any look. What is the brush I got? Oh, no, I don't want that brush. I want this brush. There you go. Ow. Like that. Now, 
next we will have the little clips so one like that so rectangles make the rectangle there we go we must like copy and paste these because make them all even my man who likes evening little circle for the button the button popper Curve it like that. Down. Down. Actually, actually, let's get the copy and paste of that first. Then we'll add in the other lines. So down. Like that. Copy. Paste. Like that. Obviously, when you do a copy and paste, it goes to a new layer. It's not a problem. Just click Merge down, and all layers below it will merge one by one. Now, personally, I'm not happy with that. I want these to come over slightly. Let me merge them all. Might help. <laughs> I'm not sure I just told you to do I didn't do. So, let's select these. Just drag it over slightly. Not much. And I'll go back under Pen. Drag it up. Well, well that's his arm um, that you know is in it's under the chair. There we go. That's the lower body. Now that's for the buttons, the um what should we call them? I don't know that there's not a button for. Um forward uh, oh, bit beer, we want to remove that bit because that's a bit too what's the word bulked out, so we don't want that. So what's next? Simple. I'm going to go down, now the other arm, the pad will be there, but it's on the other side, so it doesn't matter. Um, next, you hear that? Boom, bop, doop, doop, and doop. Oh, do it. Oh, her little elbow pad's gone. Oh well. Let's put another one. There we go. Now, Dav Ross, or Pug Ross, for everyone to call him. Let me go back to the face. Let's add some, let's add some details here. Like some little wrinkles like that. I prefer drawing on a tablet to a Wacom tablet because you can see what you're doing. It's, I just find it hard, you know, to look up while it's drawing down. It's not easy. I'd rather recommend a tablet over one of these, but they're not cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. But they're well worth the money if you're going through college like I am. A few wrinkles there. There we go. Alright, let's move on. Saying that, that should come down a bit. Both of his arms tucked in, doesn't it? Uh, actually, no, I think it's alright. Right, one of that line coming out like that. Don't worry if you go over the lines a bit, it's fine. We just need to make out the rough idea of where. Oh god, where did it do that? We just need to make out the rough idea of where the lines have to go. Just again, just, again, you can always take away. You can add and you can take away. Remember, once you're taking away, if there, you can undo it, but it might take a while. So be sure you want to undo it before you undo it. That's one of my tips to you. Right there. Oh, pardon me. Next. We drag that down. Actually, let's curve it like... That. I'm going to curve it down like that. How are we going to do this? You know, I'm going to play around with some perspective, but there's a way we can do this. Let me, let me give you an example. There's a rectangle thing. Of sorts, anyway. I want to select the rectangle. You can go to distort. Distort, see? Gives you more perspective. Really handy tool. Now we're going to do here. 
So the hand is obviously there, and it'll be on this mat that'll be over there. So what we're gonna do, take our brush, do it like that. Actually, let's make a new layer. Now, now we go like that. Now that doesn't look very good, does it? It looks like it looks weird. So what we're gonna do, take that, distort it. Oh, it was down. Take off magnetic. Like, actually, I don't think it's gonna work. Okay. Um, how are we gonna do this? Alright, we're gonna have to go back a few steps and raise the entire hand. That's fine, it's not a problem. You just put it in a different angle, that's so. all. My fault, not yours. God, it likes to jump around. That's the only thing I like about app. It does jump around a bit. It's probably me. Let's do a line like that. We want this one. Goodness sake. That, but there to be on a curve like that. Be well, like a sharp edge. Because when we get our pen and we go up like that, it looks better. See? Oh, that's a bit thick. So what we'll do, we'll end with that. Now drag up the line. Drag up. How's that look? Nah, a bit low. Like I said yesterday, we'll do the same pose we did yesterday. I think it'll be easier, I think. So let's just curve that like that. So we'll put on his... Actually, we'll do a little tip like that. Um, no, let's try again. Beer, you'll we'll have just do it like that. Just to have some more depth for the character, we'll have it like an open zip of that. To curve that line again, do the diagonal brush strokes to add to make it even with the lines. Thing now, what's next? Simple now. Is the hand like it's not simple, it's bloody hard. Um. Up, curve, line like that, and go like that. That's a bit too, I don't like that. Right, so, when I'm looking at my hand when I'm doing that, the hand comes out, curves in, down the joint, curve like that for the like nail, and like that, and like that. Like that, like that. Look. That make a little line there so we know the indication of where the edge is. His finger, like that. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, go make the noises. It's really important to make the noises that don't work properly. We just curve like that and make a sign where the knuckles are. I know he's got a robotic hand, but so we just want to, you know, mix the um, symbolization of where it is. Now, what we're going to do next is come back down to the chair. Now, obviously, we've got that there, so what we're going to want to do is make the one on this side. It's not hard, you know. Done. Boom. And bring that down. We have to put that like that. Actually, drag both lines like that. They make a straight one. There. You go. What color should we make his jacket? I'm just thinking about maybe a. Oh, I got it. I'll try later. I'm just a little surprise. This is the our version of Davros or your version, whatever one. If you're copying at home, I hope you are. If you are, I hope you like the design. Feel free to post and go message me your versions of Davros. I'm not the best artist in the world, I know I'm not. I do it because I enjoy it, and that's why you should do it, if you ask me. When art becomes something they don't enjoy, maybe decide to hang up the pencil for a while. But if you enjoy it, it's good to know. His chair. An orb. 
Now the Daleks generally have four orbs on either side. So one, one and the final one, but I know they're rather big. How big are they? Mm, it's a bit big. I don't like that. So what we'll do, we'll move Davros down a bit. Like that. There you go. Down like that. Make a diagonal line, but not too, what's the word, slanted. We want it straight, but not too slanted. Like that was too slanted. We want it just straight, but a bit of a curve, a uh, slant to it. Now let's go up here. Create a circle. Nope. Not that bulb part at the top. That's a circle I would say. Freehand. Copy and paste. Why you ask? Put that. It's one. Let's just copy it. Be easy. No, no, no. Copy numbers. Copy. Paste. Drag him over. Like that. Paste. Drag him over. See what I mean? There's little tricks on the tablet that is really handy to make your life easier. It can make people always say, oh, that's cheating. But I say, if the application has includes it as a proper art application, why would they include it if it's cheating? Mm hmm. Exactly. It's only cheating when, say, not... It's like tracing. People always say, oh, tracing is cheating. You're just going over people's work. But I say, it's alright to trace as long as you say it isn't your work. If you claim it's your work and you're tracing, now that's a different story. Because I trace sometimes, just to have an idea of how the character flows. You know, how he we, how we looks, how he flows, etc. Turn that down a bit. You know? Right, let's go back up here. Make the odd knob on his dial. Like that, like that, that'd be like a some sort of orb. Some switches. Got all the magical switches. Because three on the modern day Davros chair. That. Um, let's finally make say the big red button for the detonation. Or else we're gonna have, gonna have something in the background. You like when you see what I'm gonna do, you like it. Right, I think that's about it when it comes to lining. Now let's make a new layer. I'll leave all the layers for the sake of the video. We call this layer Let me show you main ink. And this one under colour. I'll show you what I mean now. Oh, sorry. oh excuse me. Now the under colour Works like this. Well, this is my opinion anyway. You go to a brown. Um, ooh, that's a nice colour. Or under colour. Because it goes under the black, we go like that. And the reason we go like that is because then we can bucket fill all this. And it'll be a quick way of doing it. We're just speeding the process up, you know. Make life easier for yourself. Just because you make do it the hard way doesn't mean it's going to be a good painting at the end of the day. Hmm... I can do it on the eyes, we're gaunt. That there, curve that. Flick that up. There we go. Same for the other side. Curve it up. Boop. Boop. Go. Um, next. Uh, there's probably a little bit, we've got to also decide where your light is going from, so I'm shading more on this side. So we're going to do a bit of shade, say, with that. We're going to want to drop it down for the year of it. But on this side, we're going to want to do the other side. Actually, no, we won't, so my bad, we'll have to do this side there. Because the light, say, is coming from but there, and shining like that, then this, then the nose would shade over this. The other part of the ocean shade that. See? That's another way of doing it. I'll do it just for, again for the sake of the video. Get a red one. And we get a thick line. And we call this 
our reference line, right? We call this the sun. There you go. And line, line. I know, don't worry, it's not going over our big pitch, I'll do a bit lower. There we go. I'll go back to the under colour. Go, actually, on the spheres, I want silver. No, it's going to be silver. Just curve it like that. Um, a bit thick, curve them. Doing all of them, curve. Boop. 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 There we go. See? We're getting there. Um, next up, we need some stupid and done one. We need some what else do we need some shading? Maybe on the hand, silver again. Um maybe we have the shading come right down like that. Cause to like look at look at the angle, yeah. So the entire mm, upside there is gonna be shade. All this is gonna be shaded. And all that isn't gonna be we have a little bit by there where the finger is hanging off, you know, when the finger hangs. Right, next on this, we merge the main ink with the undercolour. We zoom in onto the brown that we just did. Hold your finger down. Colour, pick the colour. Bucket fill. One. With a new feature in Procreate, you can click that button. Drag the cursor, and wherever you put the cursor, it will colour fill. Also, at the bottom, you see a bar called Flood. This bar is of how much it goes in. If you put it to max, it only goes outside the line, so be careful. Mm. Too bad. Like that. Let's go for a light to shade, like that. And do the rest. Fill in the rest. Now, I generally do the jowl slightly darker to the rest of the dog. See? Like that. Actually, a bit lighter, we won't. Don't imagine that. There you go, oh, that's nice, that's nice. There we go. So Pug Ross is coming along. Ooh, it's having beer. Look that colour. It's colouring in by hand, may as well. Yeah, P Pug Ross is coming along. Tell you what, we'll do a challenge later on in another video. Have you, I guess, if you've sure been on the art side of YouTube, you've definitely heard Draw with Jazza. It's like, he's one of the best ones out there. And the reason I bring him up is because he's doing an ultimate custom, what's his name, ultimate character design, something like that. The UCD, ultimate character design, something like that. Maybe we can do one ourselves. But we can do one with Davros, or Pugros. And for the teeth, I'm going to go for that colour, but yellow. Ooh, mm, yeah, that works. Now for the eye, let's make another layer. Go under. Get a bit of blue. And we're going to deep blue to start off with. Colour roll in. And let's go a bit more than that one. Bit lighter, maybe I'd make it drag it over a bit. Like that. Oh, this is looking good. I like this. Turn it over a bit. Oop, my pen. I'm not prepared for my pen died then. Make the brush smaller. Up. We go lighter again. And that'll be the main pupil. So, you know, that was really good, you guys, man. Uh, what colour should this be? Mm, we want the button, to be the big red button, so to speak, to be red, obviously, otherwise it's not going to look good. Red. To make the little, little dials black, you know, because his jacket isn't going to be black, it's going to be a different colour. Make that a deep red, too. Let's make a silver, silver. Silver, silver. That's a thought. Generally, Davros's metallic hand is silver. Let's make it gold. Get rid of those lines. 
I'm just showing you now, you can change your mind halfway through. It's not a problem, as long as you think about it, you'll be fine. I know we haven't really had any shade, we'll come back to that in a minute. Oh, so that's the arm. That looks quite good. Hmm. Let's put a bit of yellow. Ooh, I know. On the long side, of it, let's put a bit of shine on it. Like that. Flat. See, no, I don't. instead of putting some glare on it, um, some shade, just put some shine on it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna shake it as well, don't worry. Um, right, so let's go into that one. Let's make a darker version. Like that. Drag that. Like that, there. I'll give them some gold buttons too. What was that? What was that colour? Like that. Go into yellow. Free colour, tan and boop. We'll do that one. And yeah, we're going to redo these as well. Make these a yellowy colour. I see what's happened to you now. I see. I see. I see. I see what's happened. I'll do it this way, be easier. Do it manually. Sorry. Right, we're getting that. Now it's for the main part of the chair. Mm, what colour? Maybe it's colour? Yeah, it's a nice colour. As from my here, I've had a goldy colour too, a goldy yellow. Or I want this to be like a royal version of Davros, Bugros even. I'm thinking, because purple's my favourite colour, the jacket can be purple. Let's go to the sun, don't need that anymore. We again, that. I think that's pretty much done. Let's have a. Let me show you how to do a cool background. Well, in my opinion, a cool background, like a dramatic background. We're gonna do. Undo. We're gonna want to get a color. Back so you do the background to that color. No, it's a bit that color. Like them. Let's go under a white, a grey white. Go under these organic. No, it's not organic. It's oh, which one is it? elements? Yeah, elements for clouds. Um, maximum size. Boom. Look at that. Looks like smoke trailing behind him. Might do a bit of in front. Let's do it really faint up there. Because obviously smoke rises. Let's do up that. Yep, that's cool. Let's go to one in front of him. Let's make a little layer of there. There we go. Now what else we're going to do? We are going to... Um, let's see here. What else can we do? Time's it. Okay, alright. Um... So let's make some cool text as well. Let's type in a very famous quote. Debt ornate the reality bomb. Bomb. Just try one of it. Get that. I like got black. You don't understand why we're making it black now. Ooh, some dear. Add text. Oh, Ooh, what the hell? I don't know how that was. Um, let's edit the text slightly. Edit text. Right. Um. So let's make a new um type. I do believe I have installed somewhere. Avoided anyway. Uh, we're bold. Yeah, we're bold. Right. Well, I want to be bold. Semi bold italic. Semi bold. No, 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 no. Bold like that, right? Now, we copy it, we paste it, and we send that one in front, because that's the one we can change the colour of. 
Hold on that. Okay, thank you. There we go, that I go. What colour? What colour? Now, what's the point in that even again? If we drag from that corner, like that, now there's another cool. Look like the shadow on it. Detonate the reality bomb. I think we can both sign in this one. Alright, do you have my pen? <laughs> oh, let's merge all of them actually. Merge all the layers, that's what we want to do. Top one. Like that, that's my signature. 2021. And there we go. That is our version of Davros. Um, so it's Pugros. The time has come. Now 